Sometimes you might be asked to calculate the break-even sales value. So that's the value in a specific currency of your sales that will cause you to break even or make a zero profit. Or not enough information is given to calculate break-even units, but they ask you to calculate the break-even. So if they don't give you the selling price per unit or the variable cost per unit, you can't calculate contribution per unit and as a result break-even units. So they'll ask you to calculate the break-even sales value. So once again, you can memorize the formula. It's a simple formula, fixed costs divided by contribution margin. Now contribution margin, remember margin means it's the contribution divided by sales value. So it's a percentage or sometimes it's called contribution ratio. Now you can memorize this formula. So let's look at a simple example. So say our sales equals 3000, our current sales level. Our variable costs are 1800 and our fixed costs are 2000. So we're currently making a loss of 800 and we want to know what should our sales value be in order to break even or to make a zero profit? So now we can put this into our formula. So our fixed costs, 2000 divided by contribution margin or contribution ratio. How do we calculate that? So our contribution in this case would be 3000 less our variable cost of 1800. So that gives us 1,200, that's our contribution in total, divided by our sales value equals contribution margin or ratio. So that's 40%. So now back to our formula, 2,000 fixed cost divided by 40% equals, so that's the same as 2,000 divided by 0.4, and if you do it on a calculator, you'll find a sales value of 5,000. So we need to increase our sales from 3,000, the current level, to 5,000 before we'll wipe out the loss or start making a profit. So before we break even. Now, memorizing formulas is dangerous because there's many to memorize. And also, if you forget the formula, then you might be completely lost. It's always best to understand where it comes from. So let me try to explain. If we, if we take a simple income statement, sales less variable costs equals contribution, less fixed costs equals profit. And now they ask us for the break-even sales value. So remember, we want to, we need to cover our fixed costs with our contribution. So our contribution must be just enough to cover all our fixed costs. So whenever we have fixed costs equal to contribution, we'll have a profit of zero. Okay, so if our contribution is X amount and we have a fixed cost that equal to, to that contribution, we'll have a zero profit, so we'll break even. So we need a contribution equal to our fixed costs. Now, what is our contribution? How do we calculate that? Our contribution is equal to our sales multiplied by our contribution margin percentage. So think back to our, our values here. Our sales value of 3,000, if we multiplied that by our contribution margin of 40%, we would have gotten this contribution of 1,200. So our sales times our contribution margin percentage will give us our contribution. And this now needs to be equal to our fixed costs. So sales times contribution margin percentage equals our contribution, and that has to equal our fixed cost in order to break even. So now, on both sides of this equal sign, we can divide by contribution margin percentage. So that will give us Sales equals fixed costs divided by contribution margin percentage. And you can see there we have our formula that we memorized. So this is where the formula comes from. 
So in a question when they ask you for the break-even sales value or they ask you for break-even but they don't give you the sales price per unit or the variable cost per unit, then you can use this formula. Fixed cost divided by contribution margin percentage.